What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today this video, I'm gonna be chatting with y'all about this Governor Gear and this Turbo 350 that I got. Listen y'all, y'all watch this entire video. Don't just click it and unclick it, you know what I'm saying? Cause we got some real stuff we need to talk about here. So listen, this Governor Gear right here, it's supposed to be brand new. The transmission is supposed to be brand new, okay? So, what I wind up doing is, first and foremost, the transmission wasn't shifting while I was driving the car. So, what I did was, I ordered me another transmission, brand new, and I put it in. That one worked fine. The transmission that this governor gear came out was brand new not refurbished not rebuilt brand new it wasn't changing like i said when i drove it so i called the manufacturer up they told me to pull this out check it whatever the case may be um i did that i didn't even install it and try it again because like i said i bought a new transmission but they did say that they were willing to uh fix the transmission because they don't have any transmission on the shelf. So, you know, it was just one of them things where like, you know, I I, I got a new transmission now, another new one. Um, but this is just what you deal with when building these cars like this from scratch. So, like I said, this right here, the governor gear, is really easy to uninstall, okay? There's a little piece on the side of the transmission on the driver's side. Uh, on the driver's side of the vehicle. So when the transmission is installed on the driver's side of the vehicle, there's a little circle piece and that comes off. Just can take a little chisel or whatever uh, or, or uh, a screwdriver, anything with an with a end on it and, and tap on it easy. And like I said, just tap on around it, it'll come off. You're gonna lose the fluid, some fluid when you do that. So like I said, just be mindful of that. Um, you know, if you're pulling it out or whatever, just be mindful. Fluid's going to come up. All right. Pull that little piece off. This little thing right here, the governor gear, it slides right on out. You just twist it a little bit and pull it. Real easy to uninstall. I mean, anybody can do it. Um, I'm not going to say anybody, but, you know, anybody that, that worked on something before, they should be able to do it, no problem. So, like I said, they say that... Uh, to check these to make sure that they're functioning like they should that this little piece right here you should see it move when you open the knees and close them okay so this right here it's moving but for whatever reason the transmission is not changing all the gears are there they said that's another thing that you want to do you want to check the gears and make sure that nothing broke or anything like that all the gears are there so, like I said, I really don't understand what's going on with the transmission. Um, but, like I said, uh, I pulled it out. Now, they said that they're willing to take care of it. He said that he'll pay for shipping there and I pay for it coming back. But I, honestly, I, I, I really don't even think that's fair. You know what I mean? I paid cash for this transmission. I ain't not on a payment plan, none of that. I paid cash for it transmission not working so you know they should go ahead and take care of everything um it's a tci turbo 350 and um i honestly feel like if, if anybody's building something and they want to buy new you know i really don't recommend that brand i don't recommend that brand I think they crappy. But, like I said, they said they were going to take care of it, so I got to give them that part. But they say that they don't have any on the shelf, so it's got to go to Mississippi. Get to Mississippi, it may take about maybe a week. Then it's going to take them a while to fix it. Then it got to come back. That's the reason I bought a new one and had it put in. And, uh, well, I put it in. And, uh, and you know, now I'm, I can drive the car, and, it, and it's doing what it's supposed to do. But, uh, like I said, I don't recommend them to nobody. But, like I said, this right here is fairly easy to get out. And, like I said, if it's not functioning, if it's not moving like that, then 
this could be the problem why your transmission isn't shifting. Uh, like I said, this is what it looks like. If you wanna, if yours isn't working, and if you want a new one, uh, I've seen them for about $95. You know, somebody may have one a little cheaper than that. You know, some may have them more expensive. But I've seen them for like $95. So, like I said, uh, I'm gonna clean this one up though and stick it back in there. And uh, I'll probably just send that thing on to them. And, uh, but I'm gonna inspect it a little bit more and, you know, make sure that, uh, that it's, uh, you know, that nothing's wrong with it, nothing's damaged on it or anything like that. But uh, like I said, uh, pretty easy to uninstall. Like I said, it's called a governor gear. And what this should do is make the transmission change from gear to gear. And uh, like I said, our quick recap, if you're looking to uninstall this, if the transmission is inside of the vehicle, you gotta go on the driver's side of the vehicle, okay? It's a little circle piece, a little circle piece. You're gonna take that circle piece off and you're gonna see this, it's gonna be in like this. You're gonna see this back part right here. Uh, you're gonna have to give it a little twist and then pull. It's gonna come right out. And uh, once you take it out, like I said, uh, to test it, these go in like this. And you're gonna pay attention to this right here. And so you see this one is moving. And so, as long as it's moving, uh, you're good to go. You know, that's functioning like it should. Uh, so, like I said, that's the, that's the way to see if that's working or not. Uh, and so, if that's working fine, then, uh, you know, you got something else going on that needs to be addressed. Vacuum, make sure you got vacuum. If you don't got vacuum, then, um, then you know you uh, it's not going to change. So you got to have vacuum. So check that as well. Uh, and like I said, you know if you don't have any vacuum, that that could very much be you know your problem. So uh, so just make sure you got vacuum. Make sure your vacuum line doesn't have any cracks in it or anything like that. And uh, like I said, if that's good to go then you know like i said you got something else going on so like i said quick recap like i said if you have a turbo 350 turbo 400 and it's not shifting as you're trying to drive it then uh first thing the easiest thing to check is to vacuum make sure that your vacuum line is hooked up properly make sure that you're getting vacuum you could uh pull the vacuum line off start the car if you feel any type of suction on that vacuum line and you get you're getting vacuum uh if you're not feeling any suction then you're not getting any vacuum so like i said uh try that first that's the easiest part and this right here is a little bit harder because like i said you got to go on the driver's side of the transmission if it's installed this will be on the driver's side of the vehicle um and so once you, uh once you uh take this little circle piece off on the side this right here twist comes out like I said, this little piece right here, it should be moving. And like I said, if that's not moving, then that could be your problem. So like I said, any comments, any questions, just drop a comment down below. I'd love to help anybody out that needs some help uh, with that project or whatnot. Um, so like I said, uh, anybody have any questions, like I said, drop a comment down below. And uh, See if uh, if uh, anybody's working on anything, just need a little help. Ask some questions. Like I said, drop a comment. Like I said, I'll help you out. Listen, it's a lot of people out here that's working on projects. All right. So what I need you guys to do is I need you to share this video with social media, share it with your friend because your friend might know somebody that's working on something and may need the help. So share the video, even if the friend's not working on something. Share the video with a friend. Um, go ahead and hit the like button because uh, this is a good video. I like it. So pretty sure if you don't like it, hit the like button anyway. Uh, 
hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And before I wrap this video up, I want to tell y'all something. All right. So I do this right here. It's just for fun. But it's good money in it. Okay. But you're not going to just make money any kind of way. So if anybody want to get some money, the way I'm getting it, this ain't my only avenue of getting money. But if you want to get money, like I'm getting money for these videos, hit my Instagram. It's going to cost you. But believe me, the one-time fee that I charge, you'll make that back if you follow instructions, okay? Now, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Monthly. Monthly. My checks are usually right around the same thing. 16,000 monthly. 16,000 monthly. So, ever since I started getting these YouTube checks, that's what they've been. All right? So, like I said, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all got channels, but y'all ain't making no money got to hit the Instagram to find out the details on how you can get to making money like this. So, uh, you can make more than that. And I can give you tips on how to make more than that. So, Instagram is uh, Caprice. Like Chevy Caprice. Underscore. Classic. 19806. Hit my DM if you are interested. Um, other than that, y'all stay tuned for more videos to come.